Hello, I'm Peter Camp. Welcome to this EPS Learning seminar on conflicts and confidentiality. The SRA Handbook came into force on the 6th of October 2011. The Handbook should be accessed by using the version on the SRA's website. In this way, practitioners can be assured that they are using the most up-to-date version. The Handbook contains all the SRA regulations and is applicable to both licensed bodies, that is alternative business structures, and recognised bodies, that is traditional law firms where all the owners and managers are lawyers. It contains the SRA Code of Conduct 2011. Now, whilst the Code of Conduct imposes a requirement on firms to adopt certain systems and procedures, two of the chapters in the Code are highly relevant to individual owners and members of staff. These two chapters are Chapter 3 on Conflicts and Chapter 4 on Confidentiality and Disclosure. As a result of so-called entity regulation, the contents of the Code apply to the firm itself and all individual members of the firm, and that includes support staff. It is vital, therefore, that all individuals are made aware of their own responsibilities. In this seminar, we will cover, first of all, the general aspects of the Code of Conduct applicable to conflicts and confidentiality. We'll then move on to the provisions relating to conflicts of interest, including systems that must be in place to identify conflicts, your conflict obligations and the conflict exceptions. Finally, we'll move on to your obligations relating to confidentiality and to disclosure.